this great story of Yusuf alayhi salam is mentioned in the Quran and mentioned in the Holy Scriptures before the Quran. But no scripture before the Quran narrates the details and the actual correct events in an orderly manner as much as the Quran does. A whole chapter of the Quran is devoted to the story of Yusuf alayhi salam. And this chapter, this surah, is named after him, Joseph, Yusuf alayhi salam. The stories of the various prophets are dispersed in many surahs of the Quran. Sometimes the same incident is repeated two or three different in different uh, surahs with some details that are different in, uh, in each surah. One of the great scholars, Al-Qurtubi, mentioned that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the story of, uh, say, Ibrahim alayhi salam in, in um, so many different surahs. Let's take one example. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in one surah, and Ibrahim, Ibrahim hastened to entertain his guests with a roasted calf. In another verse, then he brought out a fat calf. So from the two incidents here, we see that he brought a fat and a roasted calf. So this is the idea of the Quran. For us to dig and look and see and find what does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala want to tell us. This is the, the usual style of the Quran. Because the stories of the Quran are not narrated for the purpose of entertainment. Although they are entertaining. But they are not for that purpose. They are for the purpose of a certain issue or a certain value that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala want to, to pass to us. But at the same time. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to show us that this great miraculous book can also narrate a whole story continuously. And that is only found in the story of Prophet Yusuf alayhi salam. It follows a natural sequence of historical incidents. And it is unique in, in the Quran that a whole story is mentioned in only one place. That is uh, the miraculous of the Quran. If you, want, if you want to see a story scattered and try to make sense of it, you'll, you'll find it in the Quran. And if you want to see a whole story narrated in sequence, you will see it miraculously in the story of Yusuf, Joseph, alayhi salam. The story of Yusuf, alayhi salam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us this is in the chapter of Yusuf that he starts with alif lam mim these simple letters these simple letters are the the making of the arabic language and with these letters allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pre presenting to us a, mir a miracle the whole quran every verse of it is a miracle by itself and it is made of what of these simple letters that you, the arabs use every day but they cannot make one sentence like the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the beginning of the chapter, before narrating the story, that we, Allah, do relate unto you, Muhammad, the most beautiful of stories. And this is the start of the story of Joseph. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, is saying to us, this is one of the best stories, most beautiful stories. The Quran indicates that this is the first time Prophet Muhammad has ever heard of this story, of this beautiful story of the Messenger of Allah, Yusuf Joseph alayhi salam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling Muhammad and telling us that this is not the making of Muhammad. He did not hear it from somebody and reversed it in, in his language. This is the first time Muhammad himself hears about this story. The story starts with Yusuf Joseph and we'll call him from now on, Yusuf, telling his father of a dream. Oh, my father, I saw 11 stars and the sun and the moon. I saw them prostrating to me, making sujood to me. His father answered him immediately, do not relate this story to your brothers. What is the story? Yusuf 
alayhi salam, peace be upon him, saw 11 stars with the sun and the moon prostrating before him. This is all in a dream. And his father, Yaqub, Jacob, and we'll call him Yaqub from now on, Yaqub did not know what is the meaning of this dream. He could not interpret the dream, but he knew that it is pointing to a great honor that would be bestowed upon his beloved son, Yusuf. And he knew that Yusuf's elder brothers envied him. And so he told his brother, because this, is, this will be a great honor, and this will increase the envy of your brothers upon you, do not tell them your dream. Do not tell them about your dream. Yusuf had 11 brothers. Only Benjamin was younger than him. And only Benjamin was from the same mother. The other brothers were older and from different mothers. Prophet Yaqub, peace be upon him, loved both Yusuf and Benjamin more than the other brothers. Now in Islam it is permissible for any person to love his children in different levels, different grades. This is permissible. You cannot control your heart. This is allowed. But he must be fair in distributing the wealth, in distributing the time, etc. Um, being just among them is what is a must in Islam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is instructing us through this story, do not show your your love more to one, or one of your children more than the others because this could get into a bad relations among them. So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala starts the story with this dream. And Yusuf alayhi salam obeyed his father, did not tell his brothers about his dream. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose Yusuf alayhi salam over his brothers and over the other people of his time and honored him to, became, to become later on a prophet and a messenger. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us that in this story there are signs and miracles and lessons for you, Muhammad, and you, the people who follow Muhammad. There are great lessons that would come out of this story of Yusuf. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was given this story to show the Jews and the Christians that even you, in your books, you do not have the details of the story of Joseph as much as we do, although he is among the children of Israel. Israel is Jacob, Yaqub, alayhi salam. That's another name of this great prophet. Although Yusuf, Joseph, is one of the great prophets of the children of Israel, but you, the, the people of the book, you do not have the details as much as we do, Muslims, and you, you, your story has many distortions into it. And now, listen to the story that corrects the deviations and the untruths in the version that is contained in the Jewish scriptures. The story continues in the Quran that the brothers of Yusuf gathered together and they were complaining about their father that his father is wrong, is misled because he loves these younger children more than he loves us. Although we are the ones that can provide wealth to him, we can protect him. What could small children do for him? Verily, our father is mistaken. And then they planned and conspired to do something about this event that they felt that these two younger brothers are taking their place in the heart of their father and they want to do something about it especially towards Yusuf so they started to discuss what should we do and the suggestion came from one of them slay Yusuf the other one said no do not slay him still he's our brother but cast him away so that our father will have only us and he will devote our love, his love to us and only us. And then with the discussions, one of them suggested that 
instead of going into the extreme measures of casting him or punishing him or killing him, let's, let's just put him in a well. There is a, a well in the, in the way of caravans that are passing from Palestine to Egypt. And let's put him in that well. And definitely one of these caravans looking for water might find him and they will take him away into Egypt. At least somebody is caring for him. So uh, although they hated him, but they still had some mercy in their hearts for him. They started to discuss among themselves. They said, wait, this is a sin. And we, we are the children of the prophets. We should not sin. 